my little boy's potty training right now. And um, there are times, I'll try not to be too graphic, where just by his very posture, you can tell he needs to go to the bathroom. His knees go together, and he's kind of doing this, start doing a little dance, and he's like his father, he's got no rhythm. You know, like, you can tell, you can tell he needs to go. And you say, Knox, Knox, do you need to go, do you need to go pee-pee in the potty? And he goes, no, <laughs> no. And what he'll say is, no, no pee-pee in the potty yet. That's what he'll say over and over. No pee-pee in the potty yet. So it's like the promise of someday I will, right? Like that's, that's how we think when we, the adults hear language. What Knox is actually saying is, no, I'm not going pee-pee. Um, and what will happen is, if I'll let him do this dance long enough, he'll get himself into trouble. And then so eventually I'll, I'll gather him up in my arms to his own resistance, and I take him to the potty, and he goes. And I think about what Jesus said about sheep that wander away, and how a good shepherd goes out after those sheep, and he brings them back lovingly into the fold. And I wonder how many of us have been doing the dance for a while, and Jesus is saying, come on, come on. You've been stagnating right here for far too long, son. Daughter, you've been struggling right here for far too long. I love you too much to just let you stay here. I love you too much to let you just do this little running in circles cycle over and over and over again. I love you too much. I gave up so much for you to be free from this. Come to me, son. Come to me. I wonder how many of you this morning would just allow Jesus to take you in his arms. How many of you would bow the knee to Jesus this morning and say, I have been like Israel of old, wanting the, old, the king set up in my own way and not in your way, but Lord, I receive you. I, I accept you. I, I acknowledge that you are my Lord and king. It's not just Jesus, meek and mild. It's Jesus who is victorious over death, hell, sin, and the grave. He is the king, seated at the right hand of his father. I wonder how many of us this morning need to be realigned and look in that mirror and be realigned with the fact that Jesus is king.